A casualty in its ongoing counteroffensive against Russia, Ukraine lost the first of its advanced Swedish CV-9040C infantry fighting vehicles IFV, near Kremina in Luhansk to Russian rocket fire. Russia collected the vehicle as a war trophy. Subsequently, photos and videos posted on social media showed some Russian troops standing in front of the car, indicating that it had been seized and was being investigated for technological espionage and reverse engineering. However, it has now been revealed that the Russians seem unimpressed by this formidable war machine. The Russian military has expressed skepticism over the capabilities of a Swedish CV-90 tracked armored vehicle, which could be seen in a video published on August 4, almost a week after the vehicle was captured. The dismissive remarks made about the Swedish IFV can be heard in a video that the Russian Ministry of Defense published to document the visit by Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu to a command post involved in the Ukrainian operation. The trophy was displayed to the official by Andrei Mordvich, commander of the center group of the Russian armed forces. Mordvichev said the vehicle, manufactured in Sweden and used since 1993, resembles a tank. However, he mocked that a simple and cheap Russian RPG-7, a shoulder-fired rocket-propelled grenade launcher that has been in use since the 1960s, was used to take down the one that the Russian troops managed to seize. The vehicle was stopped with the tool of our grandfathers, the commander said. Mordvichev informed the minister that although the supplied armor lacked field repair equipment and spare components, it did carry an emergency stop kit. However, he highlighted that this made it almost impossible to carry out its operational repairs in combat. In addition, the Russian official noted that the CV-90's main armament has a relatively sluggish rate of fire because of its reloading mechanism. It has three magazines of eight rounds, after which it requires reloading, which could take an entire minute of precious time lost in combat. Although Mordvichev acknowledged that the CV-90 was equipped with various cartridges, he claimed the total number was relatively small. Besides the CV-90, Russia has captured several other military vehicles from Ukraine, including the American Bradley, which Russian engineers have reportedly studied. In addition, the Swedish armored vehicles delivered to Ukraine do not have a guided weapon system, and due to their high silhouette, they have low survivability. These military vehicles were criticized as being too tall, which made them an easy target for enemy fire. 